All right, guys. Today we'll be taking a look at the thummies uh, for the or for basically any device: the iPhone, iPod, even the iPad. But I don't really think you'd use these on an iPad because they're really small. But yeah, an iPhone and iPod Touch. Um, these uh, work with. Call of Duty, Brothers in Arms, NBA Live, Gorilla Bob, Pac-Man, Mega Man, Suzes, Simpsons, FIFA 10, Mini Gore, Sonic, G Grand Theft Auto, ESPN Linebacker, Golden Axe, and many more. Um, basically, what these things do is basically makes your iPod Touch into a controller. Not a controller, I mean, you're still going to see the game on the display of the iPhone or iPod Touch, but it makes it kind of a little more physical. Like, these are little buttons that you push down. And that what makes the, the game go. Um, so basically, you get two of these. These are like little D-pads. Not D-pads. Yeah, D-pads. But yeah, they get two of those. Uh, you get one of these. There's little four buttons. So like, like Y, X, Z, whatever, like that. You get two little buttons right here. And you get three buttons right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Pac-Man game. And I will show you what it looks like. So I'll be using my iPhone 4S here. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off. My iPhone 4S and I have Pac-Man loaded up. We're just going to go ahead and pop it down here. So you see the joystick is right there. You just go ahead and push it down a little bit. And there you go. You can play away. Um, it, oh, oh, crap. Pac-Man, I'm bad at it. But yeah, um, it is very easy to use. Very easy to set up. Just get a little moist. I wouldn't say a lot because that just... Yeah, don't, don't use a lot. We'll go ahead and do one more game. So it is very responsive. I wouldn't think you'd be very responsive, but it is almost like using an actual finger, as you see here. It is very easy to use, very simple, very non-complex, because you don't have to set anything up. It's just a simple little D-pad. And half the time it is because of me, because I am just a loser and cannot play this game. Um, but that is using the D-pad of the thummies. We'll go ahead and use some other devices. Just hold on a second. So now I'm using the two little buttons here on Call of Duty Nazi Zombies. We'll go ahead and take a whack at it. Um, you cannot use a D-pad on this game because it is, it is like you have to slide it a little bit, but you can use these two buttons here. So yeah, here we go. And don't make fun of me because I'm not very good. So as you can see, it is very responsive. It is very easy to use. Um, I believe it does make the game a little bit easier because of the fact that you can have virtual buttons and know if you clicked it or not. One thing that's really bothering me with this game is the fact that I can't... Like, this is where I normally move around and stuff. I can't do that with these things on there. I'll go ahead and buy a new gun for you. So as you can see, it is very responsive. Bang, bang, bang. Bang. Um, zoom in, zoom out, you know, the normal stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, this is very responsive stuff. I'm going to pause it before I die so I don't look like a loser. Um, so it is very, as you see, it does stick up just a little bit. Not too bad. Um, but these are excellent. If you are a major gamer nerd, I wouldn't say nerd. I'm not going to make fun of you guys because I'm a nerd myself. But yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really I I'd, I'd say these are an essential if you do play a lot of games um because they they do make the game a lot easier if you use them in the right type of game. Um so yeah guys these are about $8 from I got them from budgetgadgets.com. So yeah guys thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video.